Yeah, the title says just that. TB Joshua would slap woman in service fiercely. Men and women, actually. But it seemed like he was slapping the woman harder. You know, and it makes the documentary more real. What he has done in his church and laughed about it and people laughing is just spiritual abuse. It's absolutely ridiculous. In the name of deliverance and healing, he would smack people. And, and you could see that it actually hurt. And I'm, I'm going to play the video for you. TB Joshua will be smacking women. Like straight up. The man was like wicked. Look at this. You see? What is that? What is that? Just a tap. Eh? It, it's, it's like shocking. It's like a chop. It's shocking because it hurts. There's no electricity going through your body. It's shocking because you're, it hurts. Okay, I want to do it again. Well, how does it? Like electric shock. Hold my hand and use it to tap you. That is so fake. Hold my hand and use it to shock you. Use it to tap you. Oh. <laughs> and people are laughing. This is, a, this is a show and it's a joke. There's no reverence here. There's no Holy Ghost here. There's no Holy Spirit here. You are the one that slapped yourself. That is it. Just there. And she's trying not to laugh. Look at her. She's trying not to laugh. Look at her. Look at her. Just there. Just That's it. She's trying not to laugh. This is staged. TB Joshua was faking stuff and abusing people. Just today. Everyone in that section is a is is a part of the deception. You mean it's like what? Electric shock. So it's going down to the situation. Yeah. Even the people that are not here, you are praying for. Okay, come on. See, see, see. Why is that normal? You know, and a lot of people will come and say, TB Joshua's cult followers will say, you know, don't judge. You can't judge. When someone is slapping people in church, you don't want to say nothing. If that was me, if that was my mother, if that was my wife, best know I'm throwing hands. I don't care how much you think I'm a man of God. I'm going to throw a punch right back, and it's not going to be a slap. Straight up, self-defense. Straight up. Because this is insanity. This is spiritual abuse. It's ridiculous. It's like you're, you're taking advantage of the, the woman, the vulnerable, and the naive, and you're making a mockery of this whole thing because it's staged. But see, 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 see. And that was a hard one, though. Look see, at him. See, see, see. But see, see, see. Oh, my see, God. See, see. Yes. See, see. What's happened to you? They're like electric shock. There's no electric there. Yes. The finger of God. The finger of God. That one actually hurt though. The finger of God. And smacks him on the head. The guy says it's the finger of God. This is a joke. What do you need the finger of God? If that was the finger of God, your neck would be broken. It would, it would disintegrate and evaporate in that moment. The finger of God. So you get smacked and you stand up. What's going on? Is he going to fake having a demon now? What is it? It's a vibration. Vibration in my hand, okay? Yeah, he's laughing too. Okay. It's a vibration. What is it? So he's laughing. It's a vibration. Okay. Vibration in my hand, okay? Look at that. He pushed him off the chair. Look at that. Pushed him to get up. Look. Pushed him to get up off the chair. This is straight deception. And, pe and people, I'm telling you, I'm African, so I'm always going to call my own African people. We are one of the most naive and deceived people. We are. We are. 
a lot of them a lot of the americans right now they're being deceived by you know by false miracle signs and wonders and doctrine but in africa you know in africa i'm gonna keep it real like our we, we grew up with our parents spanking us our parents hitting us so they think this is normal in the church they think there's so many false prophet ministers in Africa that slap people in church. It's spiritual abuse. Abuse. Look at this. Shock. Shock, 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 sir. Shock, shock. Shock for what? So TV Josh is trying to prove what? That he has electricity in his hands, power in his hands. What? This is a joke. Dang. Man of God, help me, I beg. Man of God, help me. Man of God, help me. Man of God, help me. I have spinal problem. I cannot walk. Man of God, help me. Man of God, help me. I have a problem for my prostate. Okay. The same challenge Baba have is the same challenge you are having now. Okay? So, they help have... Me, help me, help me. Use your hand. Hold my hand to use it. This is so fake. Can okay, see? That's all. Just holding my hand. It's not slap. We have the movie. It's gone. Stand up. See, people are clapping, and this is so fake. Man of God, help me. Man of God, I need help. Man of God, I need help. I need help. He's like, okay, grab my hand, throws him to the floor. You're healed. And TB Joshua is paid. People think that the women were paid off. These people are being paid off. A lot of these people be flown in they be brought here they be they be they are offered food and and money these people be paid off they're part of the deception one thousand percent it is it is very common for people to be paid off i know people that have been paid off that have given their testimonies online from from being in aflukawa's church who's a false prophet in congo like this is crazy go thank you jesus Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. I cannot do like this before. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I'm delivered. And and y'all fall for this craziness. Y'all fall for this deception. And I'm I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here like this is this is wild. Can someone in the body of Christ explain why this is needed during deliverance, tripping people, hitting people. Slapping women in the face, making them fall. Look at this. Like, look at this. Can someone in the body of Christ explain kicking people? Why this is needed during deliverance, tripping people. He's see if that is a demon that TB Josh was dealing with. Why on earth is he physically hitting that guy? Hitting people. Do you not see that slap? Tripping people, hitting people, slapping women in the face, making them fall. Look at this. How is this relevant to deliverance? Making people crawl on the floor. Why is that normal? Why do, why, why do people, why don't Nigerians, I'm not gonna say all Nigerians, but there's a big percentage of my Nigerians that will say this is, this is powerful, it's spiritual work. Making people crawl on the floor like dogs. Like an animal. How is this relevant to deliverance? How is this the love of God? Do we see Jesus doing this? No. This, my friends, is spiritual abuse, and it is inappropriate. Look at him making this woman fall on the ground after she says she's struggling with lesbians. We bind this in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I've seen a lot of deception, but what I just saw with TB Joshua slapping women left, right, and center is ridiculous. I know, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna let my flesh speak for a second. If I was there and he just went around hitting my wife or my mom, he would get the fivefold ministry. 100%. Because I'm a man, I'm a husband, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a father, I'm a son. And I believe in self-defense. I believe defend your territory, defend your family. 
And if I ever see that in the church, I'm, I'm stepping up to the person and you're going to see the false authority and false anointing that they have. You think you're going to get striked down if you speak about someone like TB Joshua. I've been speaking about this man for a year, years. There is no judgment that's, that has come upon me. No, only blessings and blessings and blessings. No matter how many people try to curse and say these things, it changes nothing. My life is getting better by the grace of God because God is good. And God is exposing these false prophets and taking them down. The empire will fall. You understand me? And God is exposing all these things through major outlets and the people will be, continue to preach the truth. This man was perverted. This man was demonic. This man was a woman abuser. He was a woman abuser. He was a psychopath. He was a psychotic cult leader operating with the spirit of witchcraft, straight darkness. He was a charlatan. This man was absolutely demonic to the core. And I don't care how many people say, I love TB Joshua. Love your man of God. You probably love Hitler too. When you read uh, your, your history books, you probably love Hitler too. You probably love Hitler too, because you need deliverance. You are deceived and you're also perverted.